Hello, I'm Doug. And I'm Mackenzie. And this is our Ollie. Hi. <laughs> we are so excited for you to watch our video. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hey, we thought we'd start by telling you a little bit about ourselves and how we met. We met about three and a half years ago and we've been married for about three years. Yes. So, Doug's dad hired me and I worked for him um, one summer and the whole summer we were joking about how I was going to marry his son Doug and he was bragging him up saying how wonderful he was. I'm like, I could really marry this guy. Plus, I thought it would be fun to have him as a father-in-law. So, that summer we were just joking and joking and then I went back up to college and didn't work for him anymore. Um, when I got home from my mission, I actually started working for my dad and he kept telling me that I needed to call this girl and I never did. So one day he needed to borrow my phone <laughs> and he called up Mackenzie, dropped the phone in my lap, ran away saying it was for me. So she and I had a lovely conversation. It was delightful and I thought for sure that this guy was going to ask me on a date and I was really excited actually. I never did. He never did. How lame. <laughs> Okay, so I went back um, and worked over um, Christmas break, and so that was my first time actually meeting Doug, and this is what happened. So you're the infamous Doug, huh? Yep. And that was it. That's all he said, and he just walked away. Awkward return missionary. Holy cow. So, <laughs> fast forward, did not think I would ever see this guy again. Um, I served my mission for our church, and then the week I got home, I heard from this guy, and he asked me out. We went on a date, like a week and a half after I got back, and... I never let out a free moment for time again, and we got <laughs> married five months later. Yes, and so, like he said, we've been married for three years, and it has been great. Mackenzie's my best friend. I, <laughs> I love spending every day with her. Um, one thing that I love most about Mackenzie is how everybody she meets loves her. Every day somebody reminds me about how lucky I am to have her in my life. And she is very committed to her job and to our family. And she gives me the strength and support I need to do my job well and to make sure that I come home safe every day. Doug is so caring and a great listener. He helps me through all of my hard times and is just a constant support for our family. Um, he makes me laugh so much. Doug is so understanding and cares so much for his family. I know that he is going to be such a great daddy and I look forward to seeing that. So we spend a lot of time with our family. Um, some of the things we like to do with my family, we get together, at least we try to get together at least once a month and we usually will play some board games or watch a movie and we do that just so that we can stay in contact with each other. His family loves games. We do. It's way fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Um, with my family, um, we kind of do random stuff, but over the summer especially, they um, we really like to go out for willing and um, UTVing. The nephews call it the GTV, the Grandma Mobile, because um, my grandma or my mom likes to drive them around. Um, so we kind of like to do that sort of stuff and do like construction projects with them. So um, one tradition that both of our families had that I was like, oh, it's so unique to us, um, <laughs> is that um, we would get Christmas Eve pajamas from our families and that's the one present that we were able to make. Um, and Doug's mom sews them for their whole family every year and um, I've started helping her with that. We love our townhouse community. Um, it's really awesome. We have two parks just right around the corner here um, between the houses. And then we also have a swimming pool and hot tub. Um, so that's really fun. Our nephews love to go swimming there. Um, we have other parks nearby, a water park. And we also have an elementary school just right down the street. Um, so that's really conveniently close. Shortly after Doug and I were married, we started trying to build our family and get pregnant. After a year of being unsuccessful, we met with a fertility doctor and they told us that without medical intervention, we wouldn't be able to have children. So both Doug and I were thinking adoption and we really feel like it's the right thing for our family at this time. 
We would love to have an open or semi-open adoption with you keeping in contact with your child through phone calls, emails, pictures, and visits. But if you feel more inclined towards a closed adoption, we would understand. So that was a little bit about us. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we wish you only the best of luck um, through everything and your decisions. Um, we will be praying for you. Um, and thank you so much.